This question was asked in instrumentation. The switch S was at point 1 for a long time and it is moved to point 2 at t equal to 0. So initially the switch S was at point 1 and then at t equal to 0 it is moved to point 2. At t equal to 0 plus the voltage across the coil is 120 volts. It's given that at t equal to 0 plus the voltage across the coil is 120 volt. We are asked to find out what is the value of this resistance R. This is the linked answer question. And the second question is, for the R obtained above, what is the time taken for 95% of the stored energy to dissipate? First, we will find out what is the value of this resistance. So it is given that the switch S was at position 1 for a long time. So in this position, first, that is for t less than 0, we will find out what is the equivalent circuit. That means we have 120 volt source. The switches was at position 1. So it is closed. 20 ohm. The 10 Henry inductor. The 40 ohm resistance. That means it will cause an initial current through inductor which is initial current through inductor will be the potential divided by the total resistance that is 40 plus 20 that is 120 by 60 that is 2 amperes. That means we have 2 amperes of current flowing through the inductor initially. Now at t equal to 0 plus the switch is moved to point 2. What will be the equivalent circuit then? We will have the R ohm resistance, the 20 ohm, this is at t equal to 0, the 10 Henry inductor, the 40 ohm resistance. Now we know that at t equal to 0 plus the current through inductor will be same as the current at t equal to 0 because the current cannot change abruptly through an inductor. We have 2 amperes of current flowing in this direction. Okay. Now, it is given that at t equal to 0 plus the voltage across the coil is 120 volt. We will write the KVL and see what is the voltage across the inductor. That is, we have 2 amperes of current flowing and the potential is 120. That is, 2 into 40 plus 2 into R plus 2 into 20. This is the potential across the inductor and it is given as it is, here it is given as it is 120 volts. This is 2R plus 40 plus 4 to 280 equal to 120. That means 2R equal to, sorry, this is 2R. 2R equal to 120 minus 120. That is 0. That means R equal to 0. So we have found out what is the value of R. It is 0 ohms. How we have found out? Initially when the switch was at position 1, we have found out what is the current through inductor. We know that at t equal to 0 plus, the current cannot change abruptly through an inductor. So 2 ampere current flows through 10 Henry inductor. This means it will create a potential drop of 2 into 40 plus R plus 20. That is here. And it is given us that voltage is 120 volts. So by equating both, we will find out what is the value of R and it is found to be 0. Now we will see how we can do the second part. So we have found out the value of R as 0. Now for the second part, it is given that, so we are asked to find out 
what is the time taken for 95 percentage of stored energy to dissipate now what is the energy stored in this inductor energy stored in inductor that is e is given as half into li square this is the energy stored in the inductor which will be half into what is the inductance value 10 henry into what was the current 2 ampere squares that will be 4 by 2 that is 2 that is 20 joules of energy is stored in the inductor now we have to find out the time taken for 95 percentage of 20 joules to dissipate 95 percentage of 20 joules we call it as energy to be dissipated will be 20 into 95 by 100 that is 19 joules what is the energy dissipated energy dissipated will be in this the resistance that means the energy will be dissipated in 20 ohm and 40 ohm resistance first we will find out what is the equation of current through inductor for time greater than or equal to 0 okay then we will find out what is power power will be i square r then what will be the energy it will be the time integral of power we will see how to find out the inductant current we know that the initial current through the inductor is 2 amperes we have found out it early this 2 ampere will be exponentially decayed through the time constant what is the time constant tau tau is l by r which will be equal to 10 by 60 that is 1 by 6 now t by tau will be e power minus 2 e power minus t into 6 now what is power power will be what is i square that is 4 e power minus 12 t into resistance is 60 total resistance that is 240 e power minus 12 t now we have energy as integral of it which will be we must get 19 equal to integral of 240 e power minus 12 t we have 19 equal to integral of 240 e power minus 12 dt that will be 240 by minus 12 e power minus 12 t from 0 to t that is minus 20 into e power minus 12 t minus 1 this is 19 that gives 1 minus e power minus 12 t equal to 0 0.95 that is e power minus 12 t is 1 minus 0 0.95 means e power minus 12 t equal to 0 0.05 that is t will be 0 0.25 seconds